you're Venezuelan, you love to cook, and I love to hang out with you in the kitchen. Uh, you're making a healthy version yes. of arepas. Arepas, exactly. What is that? Arepas is, uh, is a Venezuelan dish. Uh, it's pretty much our bread. We make it. We make our own bread at home. Most of her family, including her mom, still live in Venezuela. A taste of her native country starts with cornmeal, water, and salt. Patricia adds some healthy ingredients like carrots, sesame seeds, and some good oils. Don't let the old photos fool you. Prohibition era South Florida was a colorful place. The boys in blue chasing down the white lightning makers who were trying to earn a little extra green. In fact, according to the State Division of Library Sciences, in 1926, police made what at the time was the largest moonshine bust on record, and it happened in Charlotte County. A lot of things have changed since then, but moonshine is still moonshine. Back in Prohibition, everybody would go up in the hills and make moonshine, and they'd do it on full moons because they'd use the moonlight to run their equipment. You know, you don't want no flashlights or anything like that up there. Today, Dan Termini welcomes the spotlight. He makes the moonshine at Wicked Dolphin Distillery in Cape Coral. How powerful is this stuff? So that's about 90% alcohol coming off right there. So that's what uh, that's what the moonshiners used to be looking for, of course, right here. So this is true white lightning. And the story of how Wicked Dolphin, a nationally recognized rum distillery, came to make moonshine is largely one of nostalgia. The locals kept asking for it, so Dan studied up Florida history. And they would actually make their own moonshine and they would use uh, sugar cane for their fermentation and their distillation. He's making his rum shine in high tech drums. Kind of our little recipe that we came up with. Then adding a little Florida fruit. Which is about four ounces of blueberries in each jar. And of course, you have to have it in a jar. We used to hand label all of our labels until we had this machine right here. This is our lifesaver. Even the labels are a throwback, or as Dan says of the finished product, these are jars of authentic Florida. 